as an adult, the only jobs I've really had are been minimum wage jobs, whether it was working at McDonald's or working in daycares or, or doing telephone positions, you know, customer service and tech support kind of positions. Nothing that was anything special, nothing lasting very long. I think the longest job I had was maybe three years. I moved to Fort Worth because of the fact that there was a job available down here that would do me a lot better. Um, and I didn't realize until I got down here that that job was just way out of my reach. I was living in West Fort Worth over by the Ridgemar Mall. I had to take the bus about an hour and a half before I was supposed to be at work and it would take me an hour and a half to get back home. But I'd take the bus over to the train station, take the train over to Hearst, and from there I either had to take a cab or get a friend to pick me up and take me to work. I tried to find another place that would be a little bit closer, a little bit uh, less expensive. I moved into a hotel. I was paying about $800 to $900 a month to live there. And I was only making about 1000 So I wasn't getting ahead at all. That's when I had to find another place and I looked for somewhere closer. Pretty much didn't find anything closer but found something a lot cheaper to live in. And I was staying with a couple who, they're hoarders, um, their house is very hard to walk through. But I had a room and it was only 400 a month and I could afford that and I could get on my feet. And then my job moved and it ended up being even a little bit farther away again. Sometimes when I was walking, all I could think of is how I was gonna get groceries that week because I didn't have a way to get to the store or uh, if it was cloudy and rainy, where could I stop and just hide for a little bit so it wasn't so cold and wet. Uh, there was a, a corner store that I would stop into just to get kind of refreshed and get out of the weather. Unfortunately, even though I was starting to take steps in the right direction, I started developing problems with my feet. It got to the point where there was a couple days I took a cab home, I couldn't walk, which was 10 bucks for a ride. And when I went to see a doctor, he said that it wasn't a good idea for me to be walking anymore. I had stress fractures on my feet. My need then became, instead of just a, a want to not have to walk home in the rain, it became a need and I decided to do something about it. I'd seen a Catholic Charities bus a couple times when I was walking home. So I called. From then on, I wasn't having to walk home anymore. That was a miracle in itself. There was no more pain. My feet healed. Um, and in the process, it wasn't costing me 10 bucks to get home. It was just $2 for a ride. So in the two months that I rode the buses, I saved up every penny I had and uh, saved and planned and planned and saved. I was telling the bus drivers for a week before, you're not gonna see me after this week, I'm going to get my scooter. I was so excited. I think one of the best things about the bus drivers is that they never treated me like I was anybody else besides them. They treated me like an equal. June of this year, is when I got a promotion for the first time in 10 years. And now I've upgraded my scooter to a car and it's wonderful. <laughs> Had I not seen the Catholic Charities bus and, and known that that option was there, I would simply be out of work because there wasn't, there wasn't any other options anymore.